Hawaii's Jojo Dixon was a standout athlete during his high school days and made it a dream to not only play football as long as he can, but to make sure it would be a part of his life forever. Football for me, I mean, I've been playing it for so long. Um, I start, you know, I started when I was a little kid and it kind of taught me, you know, all these life lessons as far as perseverance, um, communication, working together with others. From Baldwin High School to the Idaho Vandals to the NFL, Dixon excelled at every level he played at, traveling North America while playing the sport he loves. Here's a safety. JoJo Dixon drops Savage in the end zone. If I could go back and do it all over again, I would. I mean, it's that it's that special to me. I mean, I, and I had that much fun. Um, but for me, it was more so like when I look back on it now, it's more so the people I met and like you know I met my wife through that process. But all good things must come to an end, as Dixon's professional football career ended in the 2015-2016 the game of football was done with him he wasn't done with the game I, I didn't feel like there was anything productive for the youth um, and I just wanted to get involved I was just this scrawny kid I was fast wasn't very strong but I just worked really hard and I feel like that can be done by anyone right so if I can help you know instill that in some of these these other kids up coming up um, you know I can help them take that next step and get them to a, to a point where they're better off than I was or better off than I am now. The former Baldwin standout started his new phase with humble beginnings, working out with players in many different areas, helping him become one of the most influential trainers in the entire state of Hawaii. My dad had told me, you know, if you put the same effort and focus into anything you do that you did into football, you can do anything. My, you know, I opened my mind to possibilities where I wasn't, I felt a little more free, like whatever I wanted to do, I could basically figure it out and do it. Beyond training, JoJo provides opportunities to countless Hawaii athletes, and another chapter of his is on the horizon. This particular turf can, can actually withstand cleats and regular shoes. JoJo will be grand opening his brand new facility that spans nearly 12,000 square feet in November on Maui as he hopes to continue to provide others to get to the next level. We also have, we got we got lasers and whatnot coming in for our turfs. For one, it's, it's I think like everyone that goes through the process or, or you know, made it some, some way, shape or form always wants to try and make the road a little easier for the guys that are coming behind. And that's basically, you know, at, at the end of the day, that's basically what it is. And with his grand opening happening this Saturday on November 9th, he has his heart and mind on the future of athletics in Hawaii. And, and uh, you know, have people see what we've been working on, what we've been talking about. If we can have a positive impact on these kids, they go out, they enjoy themselves, they have, you know, they find their own success and eventually come back and do the same thing. You know, we can uplift our community as, as, a, as a whole. Reporting.